Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabe Roach, it's another fan TV. Back at you another video. For the content of this video, go hit that like button. Let the content of this channel go ahead and subscribe. Training camp day four happened yesterday. Um, I couldn't get y'all guys the video the same night. I was tired. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't get back until like 11 o'clock, almost close to midnight. But uh, we we're gonna record this video now, drop it, and let you know what I saw last night. So, you know, usually. You know, you guys see me put a lot of tweets up there and about what, you know, the reporters saw, things like that. There will be a couple tweets in there here and there, but it's going to be mainly off of what I saw last night. All right. So I'm going to go um, each, you know, each side of the ball. So special teams, defense, offense. Right. All right. So special teams, um, Jordan Stout was punting the ball really well. Like he had a couple of punts where, you know, cough and corner style, you know, at the one, at the three. He also had, like, good backspin on his ball, too. Like, the ball would drop. Say the ball would drop at the 5. It would spin back to the 10. So, I mean, it's practice. You know, what? it was It was like a simulated rush. It wasn't nothing crazy. But, you know, Jordan Stout, he was, he was putting the ball really well and really accurately. So, that was good to see. Uh, Justin Tucker, doing what Justin Tucker does, booming 60-yard field goals like it was nothing. Um, crowd was going crazy for Justin Tucker when he was doing it. I would say the only field goals he was missing was when he was trying to break the NFL record. I think he had he had tried one from like 67. Like I think he had tried that two or three times and he hit the crossbar every time. So it's not like, oh, that's way short. He was hitting the crossbar. So like he needed like just another yard and he was over. So you know, Justin Tucker still doing his thing, still looking good. All right. So that's special teams. Um well, I will say this, and something that was also interesting is they still when on a punt, I guess they're still trying to figure out who's gonna be back there. Cause I still saw Duvernay taking punts, Proche, and I saw Demarion Williams. Now for Duvernay and Proche to have a bigger offensive role, I don't think they could play special teams. I really don't. But we'll, we'll, I ain't gonna make too much about that, but we'll, we'll see. Defense. First guy that stood out to me. Brandon Stevens looks he looks good this year, man. So, like, I heard reports last practice about how he was good in one-on-ones, pressing up to the line of scrimmage. He did it again today. Um, well, yesterday. He he pressed Isaiah Likely at the line of scrimmage, and, and Isaiah Likely damn near didn't get off the line, bro. Um, he was tight in coverage as well. Uh, I forgot. I can't remember who was playing quarterback, but they tried to throw a route out to the uh, the right sideline. Brandon Stevens damn near jumped it and intercepted it, but he knocked it out the guy's hands. Um, for sure, he's looking really good, man. So he's he's definitely, I would say, probably in the lead for that fourth corner, third, fourth corner spot right now. You know, he he may even take some time away from Kyle Fuller, bro. Brandon Stevens looked really, really good in practice um, at training camp at the stadium. And um, from what I've been hearing, you know, looking, seeing on Twitter, he was pretty good at the previous uh, practices as well. So Brandon Stevens is having himself a good offseason. All right, Bateman versus Marlin. Uh, Ravens ran the ones again, and Bateman and Marlin matched up. Bateman was about to go against somebody else, and Marlin saw that he was up and told that guy to pretty much get off of him so, so so he could take Bateman. Bateman ran pretty much like a pretty much a fade, pretty much pretty much a fade down the field. Uh, Marlin was tight on his hip, you no know, incompletion. So um, Marlin won that round, and now I believe that was the only time I saw them go up head to head. So we gonna say Marlin won the day. And it's about 2-2 now, you know, because Bateman had got him like two days in a row. And, you know, Marlon got him yesterday. So that, that battle was good. It's going back and forth. And they both getting there. So that was good. Pass rush. I'm not going to lie. If you were allowed to get sacks, the Ravens would have got a couple sacks yesterday. And it's not because of poor offensive line play or things like that. The pass rush just looked good from the middle, from the edge. Um, I noticed somebody on Twitter said it was Travis Jones that was real disruptive. Honestly, I couldn't see numbers that well. I mean, I wasn't super high up. I had a good seat, but I couldn't see numbers that well just from, you know, where I was. Uh, but they say it was Travis Jones, I believe. And Michael Pierce had a lot to say about Travis Jones. Really glowing, really glowing reviews about him. Uh, this defensive line is going to be way, way better than last year, bro. Like the pass rush, you could feel it. If, if, if Lamar Jackson was allowed to get touched, he probably would have got sacked a couple times. And also, it's not just the, a disruptive pass rush. It's good coverage defense on the back end. And it's plays where 
you know, it's three, four seconds, nobody's open. And not because they can't separate, it's just good defense back there. So I, I, I like that. I did. I like that a lot. Um, now, from what I saw, Kyle Fuller, he struggled a little bit in practice, especially when they ran the one-on-ones. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's not, a, he's not a, he's not a, a man corner. He's not a man corner. He's his own guy. Get my eyes on the quarterback, make a play. Uh, so I'm not going to penalize him too much for struggling in the area that I already knew he wasn't that great in. All right. Um, Chuck Clark almost had an interception on Lamar Jackson. He collided with Devin DuVernay in midair. Um, Devin DuVernay did get hurt on the play. But they saying that it's just a thigh bruise. So if it's just a thigh bruise, maybe you know give him a, a couple days. That would be all right. You know he, he, he might he might even practice when they come back on on Monday, Tuesday, whatever. So he might, he might even practice right then. So, um, Kevon Seymour, number number, number twenty five. Uh, there's no possible way he makes the roster. I, I I hate trying to call guys out about who's going to get cut and 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 things like that. You know these these guys' livelihoods. I get all that. Um, but he's number 25. And if you look through almost every Ravens highlight, number 25 is getting torched. Um, so that's all I'm gonna say about Kevon Seymour. You know, uh, I believe he was on the team last year when we were down. They got a couple guys from the team that actually, they actually kept from last year when we were down. So like him, Robert Jackson, number 17 with the dreads. Um, he's on the team still. So they, they kept a couple guys that was on there last year. Uh, Number 39, I believe, Denzel Williams caught an interception on Anthony Brown. Good play, good break on the ball on the sidelines, good catch, brought it down. Yeah, he made a play for himself, so, you know, good for him. I think I heard about Denzel Williams in a, in maybe in an in a OTA or a mini camp making a play. So, you know, he's making some plays, and we'll, we'll see what that, what, what that leads to for him. And like I said, good coverage defense overall today. Um Offense got theirs. Don't get me wrong. Offense got theirs, but the defense didn't make it easy on them. They didn't make it easy on them. All right. So offense, bro. Offense, offense, offense. Lamar Jackson was good once again throwing the football. He missed a couple passes here and there, but that's to be expected. I only saw really one drop. I think Nick Boyle had a drop on Lamar Jackson rolled out right and like threw it back to the left. And um, Nick Boyle tried to make a hands catch and just kind of just kind of dropped it. So, um that's the only drop I really saw uh, on a day. From my count, when we're talking about 11 on 11s and 7 on 7s, I didn't do one on ones because to me, that doesn't count as a QB throwing thing. That's between the wide receiver and the DB. Between 11 on 11 and 7 on 7s, I had Lamar Jackson 21 or 28. All right. Now, I'm not sure what the reporters had to make. They probably, they, they probably got a better count than I do, but I had him 21 for 28, which is still a really good, really efficient day. Um, and, you know, he. Lamar Jackson looks good. He looks like the guy that that, that can win MVP again, right? So 21 28, it's about 75%. So great day. Great day for Lamar Jackson. Um Anthony Brown, the the rookie from Oregon, he 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 struggled. He struggled. He threw a couple of interceptions. Um like I said, the one to um Denzel Williams. Um yeah, he 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 struggled on the day. He did. He he, he struggled. Um what I know about the Ravens pass game was they were working the short game, right? They wasn't holding the ball too long. If the short pass was there, they was taking it. That's a big improvement from where they have been because we know that the Ravens can have long development plays that take too long and you lead the sacks, right? So they worked it, they worked the short game. Um, tight ends featured all practice. Um, whether it was Oliver, whether it was likely, whether it was Andrews, they was a tight end making a catch a lot. Um Pros and cons. Pros, that's part of the offense. You know, they're going to use tight ends. Cons, you might see some more wide receivers making plays, some more running backs making plays. Um, but that's not to say they didn't have good days. The wide receivers did have a good day. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that. The wide receivers had a good day. All right. So real quick about the tight ends. Mark Andrews was virtually unstoppable. Um, he was always open. When he was covered, he was open. He caught everything. He ran He ran two one-on-ones versus Chuck Clark. <laughs> Chuck Clark had good defense on him both times. It didn't matter. Andrews caught the ball. You know, this, <laughs> he, he, yeah, Mark Andrews in a different zone right now. He's, he's unguardable. He's in a different zone right now. Um, likely he had a good practice. Not great. Like I said, he got jammed to the line by, um, Brandon Stevens. Really couldn't get off. That wasn't great to see. They, they kind of bailed him out at the end. Oh, I think he went against Kyle Fuller too. 
And he kind of felt like pretty much good defense on him as well. But then they, they tried to call a hold and call him kind of at the end. Nah, I, I didn't really like that. I think, I think he had good defense. Uh, Benjamin Victor. Benjamin Victor had a good practice. He made a couple of highlight real catches. It just was solid overall. He made a nice toe tap and grab on the sideline on, on Kyle Fuller. Really nice catch. Really good play. Uh, so, so Ben Vic, good practice, bro. Good practice. Um, we saw Proche. Proche is good in the ones, man. One on one, Proche is hard to guard. He is. I mean, I know the, the one-on-one is a wide receiver drill almost. I mean, it's hard for the DB to make a play nine times out of ten. But Proche is hard to guard in the one-on-ones, man. I mean, he he burnt uh, Kevon Seymour for a touchdown. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying the most. I know what I said about Kevon Seymour earlier, but Proche looks good in the one-on-one drills, bro. He really does. Um, we saw some under-center action. It's a couple plays, so we'll, hopefully we'll see some under-center this year to give a more variety to the offense. So we'll see if that if that sticks. Um, and Bateman. Bateman was good today, man. He's one of Lamar Jackson's favorite targets. If you had to go a wide receiver that was a favorite target, it was it was definitely Rashad Bateman. Uh, big plays down the field, down the sideline, making catches all over the field. He caught a deep pass on, on Kevon Seymour. And, you know, Seymour was there. He had good defense, had his hands up. But Bateman, concentration, brought that down. I think it was like a 50-yard game. Beautiful play, beautiful play. All right, red zone action. Bateman in the red zone had two touchdowns. Uh, Andrews caught a couple of touchdowns. Uh, but also, I would say this. It like Same thing. If they were allowed to get sacks, the defense was there, bro. The defense was there. And it was sometimes Lamar Jackson was holding the ball three, four seconds because nobody was open. So, you know, that's a sack in my book. But, you know, I mean, I can't count on this that because obviously there's no sacks um, in practice. Um uh, I mentioned Devin DuVernay has a thigh bruise. He should be okay. They said he was kept out of practice after that collision, just being safe, just for precautionary reasons, which is cool. If the Ravens are going to do anything, they should err on the side of caution. So no no, no, no complaints there. Um, Wide well, receiver two battle. I would say DuVernay and Proche are clearly in the lead right now. Tylen Wallace was, he wasn't bad. He was just okay. He made some plays here and there. Nothing that really stood out, nothing that was really crazy. Uh, but Duvernay and Proche are making plays. They're putting it out there on the field. Um, they're noticeable. You know what I'm saying? Tylen Wallace got to be noticeable, and he's not that just yet. But it's early in camp. He can get there. Um, I would say it was a good practice overall, man. Good atmosphere in the stadium. You know, fans cheering, going crazy. Uh, offense, defense, both had their moments, both had their wins. I don't feel like one side dominated the other. They both had good days. And that's what you want to see. The Ravens are a balanced team. It was a balanced practice. And uh, I'm excited for the season, like I always say, bro. Listen, man, it's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.